these things are absolutely ridiculous. You're gonna look like a spaceman wearing those. It's essentially a small sleeping bag. I don't know what to think of it. This problem also seems so obvious, but I don't know if it's just me. And I haven't tested it, so I don't know if I'm just imagining it. Let's have a look. All right, so these are the Expedition booties from Rab. Um, you see two different versions here. One is just the down booty, and the other one has a sole. The sole is removable, and I have it removed here. So this is just very, very thick fabric with two huge Velcro straps. There's also some insulation here. This is just a thick piece of foam that is attached with this band in the center. Um, it looks like it's removable and then there's nothing underneath. So the idea behind this is that you can wear this inside of your tent, even inside your sleeping bag or in your hammock. And if you want to go outside, you put on these slippers essentially and then you have a shoe that is protected from the outside this is around two three centimeters around the edges and with that it should be a little bit more versatile to store it it comes with a bag more of a breathable bag where you can store it at home you can just fold this and you would store it just like a sleeping bag preferably uncompressed so the two of them fit in here. Then you have these guys. Now to the issue that I see with them. Why is there always an issue? I don't know. I just want something that works. So I don't know about your feet, but for me, the biggest problem are the toes. And there's a lot of down in here, and it's also filled with down on this edge. However, when we come to this section, to the toe box, there's really not much going on here. Especially when you compare it to the other parts, there's much more in there. So if we pair that with this thing, which sort of collapses on itself and just gently presses on the inside and you can see it here. It just tends to do that. And what that means is this part is being compressed. So there's no insulation in here because there's no air being trapped in here. So then you have this whole thing, which is overkill perhaps, um, especially if it doesn't do its job properly where it's needed the most. These are just my first impressions. I haven't been able to test them. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them even. Uh, there aren't that many alternatives. I do actually have one with me. I will show you that one in just a moment. But the amount of alternatives for me is limited by my shoe size. If you have a smaller shoe size, there are some alternatives from Nature Hike and alike. But let me show you what else I got. So these are quite similar. This is just a small version, also from Rab. These are made to wear inside of uh, your tent, inside of your sleeping bag, not for outside. They do not come with the outside slipper. That makes them a lot lighter as well. Come with a small stuff sack. So the idea is to fit it in here. It's the size XL and let's see what the weight is on them. My scale says 70 grams for the Expedition slippers, 160 grams and this is almost 200 grams. So together this would be 350 times to 700 grams extra. One thing that is very good about both of them is the size. This is the size XL uh, for both of them and for a change they do fit me. The inner length of this is 34 centimeters. I was informed by Rab, so that's great. So I'm not yet convinced about them. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm looking for an alternative to these. These ones are with synthetic insulation and they have quite a thick sole. So I'm just looking for something that I can use inside of my tent, but also outside. I don't expect to be able to walk through them through snow, but just as camp shoes. And if I stay in a cabin, I want to have something to walk around in as well. If you want to see more winter gear, click on this video next. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button.